Hey everyone, John Martinez here. I've got five or 10 minutes here. Uh, I wanted to share something real quick that I think will help you out in terms of sales. I know I work with a lot of real estate investors. This is for you if you're trying to buy more houses at deeper discounts, or I know we're branching into a lot of other types of sales. I actually have been in a lot of other sales training for about the last 10 years. I'm in tons of different industries, so this applies to you as well. Really, if you're selling anything at all, this is going to apply to you. One of the biggest things that stops people People from taking action is confusion. I want you to think about it. So if you've got a decision to make and there's multiple options you're considering and you don't know which one to go towards, are you gonna make a decision? No, right? Because there's too many options. Uh, confusion kills deals and a lot of times we seem to forget this. So let me give you this quick tip. During a sales call your whole mission should be to guide your prospects to end up with one and only one crystal clear decision but what typically happens is we end sales calls and the prospect has more than one decision to make they've got multiple decisions to make you know they're thinking um, for example in real estate it might be hey uh, do I want to list with a realtor do I want to keep the house do I want to rent that property do I want to list with this realtor this realtor or this realtor if I've even if I've decided to sell for cash I want to go with this investor this investor or this investor too many decisions will lead to inaction. They're gonna need more time to think about it. So your whole mission should be on any sales call to leave your prospect with one decision and one decision only. If they still have more than one decision to make, you're not gonna get anywhere, right? That call's gonna end with some type of maybe or think it over and that's never good for anybody. So let me take this a, a step further and let me talk about what that crystal clear decision should actually be because it's the same every single time. At the end of every sales call, no matter what you're selling, whether it's a product or a service, whether it's to a consumer or a business, th this is always the decision. This is always the question you're gonna wanna ask at the end of your sales call. Here it goes. I'm gonna just do it in, in broad terms and you can just apply it to, to whatever industry you're in. But here's the question you should end every single sales call with. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, here's what I'm hearing. This is where you are today, and this is what it feels like in your word. This is where you wanna be, and this is what it will feel like if you get there. In other words, this is the distance, this is the gap in between where you are today and where you wanna be. My job is to bridge that gap with our product or service. Here's a question you've gotta answer for yourself today and I can't answer it for you. Um, I can't even help you with it. The only thing I can do is pose the question, but you have to answer it, I apologize, but I can't help you with this. In order for you to bridge that gap, in order for you to get from where you are right now to where you wanna be, it's going to require you give something up. It's gonna require you give up some money. It's gonna require you take some risk. It's gonna require some discomfort. It's gonna require these things that you probably don't wanna deal with. So the one question you have to answer today is what's more important? Is it bridging that gap? Is it getting from where you are today and getting to where you wanna be? Is that more important? Or is it more important for you to avoid the discomfort of change? Is it more important to you to, to hold on to those few dollars you already have in your possession that you'd have to give up to do business with me? Once you get the answer to that question, what's more important, you're gonna know exactly what to do. So guys, that's it. That's the one crystal clear question you're gonna want your prospects to answer. That's the question you need to end every sales call with. That's what's driving you towards a sales call, right? The, towards the end of the sales call, that's what's driving you towards a close. Because once you leave your prospect with that one simple question, they're gonna either close themselves or not close themselves. If they get to the conclusion that, you know what? The discomfort, the money I have to give up, the, the risk that comes with change is not worth it, you have no deal. But if they come to the conclusion that, you know, me making this change, me, me deciding to do something different, right? The distance between where I wanna be and, and where I'm at right now is so compelling that I'm willing to put up with that stuff. I'm willing to go through that stuff. I'm willing to give up the cash. I'm willing to give up the equity. I'm willing to take the risk. I'm willing to go through the discomfort. Then you have a deal. And once you know that, and once you know what's that drive that, that's driving to, here's another quick tip. Now you know how to get almost every prospect to decide to take that leap. It's just by uh, having the right conversation around why staying the same is so uncomfortable. If you can learn to do that, then then the conclusion, you already know what the conclusion is. But that's that's a topic for another time. What I want to concentrate on this time is just 
what is the one question your prospects have to answer at the end of every sales call? If you do not leave them with that very specific one question at the end of the sales call, you will not close every closable deal. You're actually gonna be shortchanging yourself and you'll be shortchanging your prospect because that's your job as a salesperson is to just frame up that question correctly. If you're not framing up that one crystal clear question directly, you didn't do your job as a salesperson. Your job should be to provide clarity, to assist in the decision-making process. And the way you assist in the decision-making process, the way that you sell, is by removing all the crap, all the junk, and saying, here's the decision you're really trying to make. It's not what's your property worth or what's the problem worth. It's not who's the best vendor, it's not uh, what's our Better Business Bureau rating, it's, it's not any of that crap. Is the decision why you would take action compelling enough to actually take the action knowing that you're gonna have to go through some crap to get there. When you master that, you, you basically master sales. So guys, I hope this was useful to you. We've trained a lot of sales teams and we continue to train a lot of sales teams. And that's one of those pieces out there that really helps people the most. And, and once our trainees are able to wrap their heads around that, things become pretty easy in terms of sales. Uh, and making sure that you're converting every deal that, that could possibly be a deal. If you found this useful, if you thought this was uh, something others could get some use out of, please go ahead and share it with them. I always love doing these quick videos, especially in the car. It helps me kill the time and hopefully give back just a little bit. So have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon.